Hello class and welcome to writing absolute value equations. Okay, This time we already have a graph and now we need to determine what this is. We need to write the equation for it. So the first thing that I'm going to write out is, again, the general form of the equation for absolute value functions, which again is where y equals some value a, which again stands for our slope, it tells us how the absolute value graph opens up or down, okay, as well as the steepness. So, a times the absolute value of x, which is just x, minus a value h, close that off, plus a value k. Again, hk is the vertex, that's the corner piece. So, I'm looking for my a value, and I'm looking for my vertex. The vertex, again, is h comma k, or it's that corner point, okay, the corner point that we see in the graph. Well, pretty much the easiest thing to identify on one of these is the vertex, okay? You look for where it's no longer, a, you know, it's no longer one piece, it's now a v, okay, going up or down. Here is our vertex, okay? Once we find the vertex, let's identify it with its x and y coordinates, okay? First moving with the x from the origin, we go to a negative one, and now we're in a vertical line with it, so we know that our h coordinate, and h is equal to a negative one, and now our k value, we count down on the y, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. A k value of negative 3. This tells us that our vertex is at negative 1, negative 3. Now what we need to do is insert these into our general equation. So here we go. y, we don't have any y's, so y stays the same. y is equal to, have we found a yet? No. So we're going to leave a the same, so y is equal to a times the absolute value of x, we didn't find a value x, so we're going to leave that alone, minus h, and h is a negative 1, we're simply going to put in parentheses that negative 1 coordinate, okay? See how h is equal to a negative 1? Now h is that negative 1, so we're subtracting a negative 1. We'll take care of simplifying that in a bit. We close off our absolute value, and now we're going to add the k value. And that's plus, with k out of negative 3, it's plus the quantity, negative 3. Okay. Great. We're halfway home. Next thing we need to do is identify what our a value is. Again, a value tells us kind of the steepness or the slope of this, this graph. Now, the interesting thing is, the slope of this piece of the graph and the slope of this piece of the graph will be exact opposites. So we will find one of them and then we'll use the shape of the graph to help us determine whether that number should be the positive number that we find or the negative number that we find. So right now we know one of the points of this graph. We know the vertex, which is a negative 1 negative 3. What we need to identify now is another point on the graph okay, that preferably runs through one of our lattice points that we have here. I'm going to choose this point right here, conveniently enough, it is the origin. Okay? And the origin has, again, coordinates of 0, 0. Okay? So, right now, I no longer need this big lattice board up. I'm going to shut this off. Ta-da! Now, here we are. We have a vertex of negative 1, negative 3, and we have a second point on the graph of 0, 0. We have two points, and we're going to calculate the slope. Again, m is equal to y2 minus y1 all divided by x2 
minus x1. Okay? So I'm going to identify this as x1, y1, and x2, y2. Now I'm going to plug into the formula. So my slope, or my a value here, really, is equal to y2, a negative 3, minus y1, which is 0, all divided by x2, which is a negative 1, minus x1, which is again 0. Simplifying this, it becomes negative 3 over a negative 1, which is the same as a positive 3. A value can now be either positive 3 if it's opening up, or a negative 3 if it's opening down. You look back to the graph. We have a graph that opens up, which tells us, correct, we're opening up, so this A is positive. So now we know that A is actually equal to a positive 3. We can now go and fill in for our last variable, and then we finish. Y is equal to, we know now that A is equal to 3, so it's 3, because it opens up and has a slope of 3, times the absolute value of X, minus a negative 1, I might as well just call that plus 1, because subtracting a negative, same thing as adding. Okay. Plus 1, close my absolute value, plus a negative 3, if I'm adding negative numbers, what I, I might as well be subtracting, and so we'll call it just that, we subtract 3, and now we have solved for the equation of this absolute value graph.